the Federal Reserve is raising rates and shrinking its balance sheet. Do these two Fed tools work more or less the same way? No, they have different implications. The federal funds futures market has heeded the Fed's guidance and points to rates getting to 3% or so in early 2023. Small increases in short-term interest rates make little difference to consumers. Consumers pay a much higher rate of interest on their credit cards. Mainly, it is just the government and large corporations that will have to pay a little higher interest on their short-term borrowings. So not much impact on consumer spending or the economy from the Fed's rate hikes at this stage. Balance sheet shrinkage means the Fed is no longer a significant buyer of U.S. Treasuries and mortgages. Consequently, fixed rate mortgage rates have moved sharply higher, and higher mortgage rates may slow down housing sales. The rise in the yields in U.S. Treasury raises the bar for equities, so it's a headwind for stocks and adds to market volatility. <music>